So today we're going to take a look at the uh, Creality Falcon A1. This is a, a laser engraver, which is ideal for home use. It's very sleek and safe. It has an enclosure. It has this nice kind of in and out features. This would be a good option if you're starting um, a small home business. You want something that doesn't take up a large footprint. You want to do a lot of engraving. You can cut through this as well, uh, but I think it really excels when it comes to engravings, making patterns and things like that. So let's take a look at this. What do we have here? So as you can see, it comes more or less assembled. Other than plugging in the air assist, the power supply, and setting up the software, you're pretty much ready to go. So on the right side here, we have the air assist. And this basically blows away dust from the nozzle to make a cleaner cut, make sure there's not too much smoke and burning. There's a built-in fan in the back here that sucks air out. One of my favorite features is how it has easy access from both the top here and the front. And then it also has a camera right here that will help you focus and set everything up. It helps you to fully use the material you have inside the bed. So you can see it in the software. So the software is pretty nice. Within the software, there are a lot of different designs and projects you can choose between if you want to use one of their graphics. You can also bring in your own design files or design right within it. Here's an example of a little box that we cut out and engraved on this machine. Other than wood, you can also cut like acrylic. You can't see it's acrylic because it has paper on it, but this is like a type of plastic. Did some tests with this as well. Um, and you can cut out, you know, things using this material as well as wood. It was kind of neat to cut out our little box out of acrylic as well. The cut was very good. It takes a little while to cut all the way through. Engraving is definitely faster, but within those parameters, you can do pretty much whatever you want. Now you notice that this is orange. That means that once this is closed, you don't need to wear any protective glasses. So it is safe to use, you know, around kids, inside the home, that kind of thing. Having an enclosure is nice. If you've ever used lasers without enclosures, you know what I'm talking about. This also is a nice small size. Uh, this machine won't take up too much space, so it is perfect for a home business or if you want a laser engraver and you just don't want it to take up your whole shop or workspace. <laughs> Engraving flat things is fine, but sometimes you want to engrave round things. So 
So for that, now we have the rotary attachment. Now, this works pretty much straight out of the box. It connects in the back here, on the side here, um, and it's very seamless. And you use it with the Falcon Design Space software. Now, this kit here comes with, uh, with risers that you put on the main unit. Um, now, the only thing about that is you have to wear um, the glasses when you are using the rotor attachment because now it's no longer contained, right? You have some space coming out here. Now, I like to engrave things for my business and put the, the logo, my brand name on different things. So here's a, a hammer, for example, I just engraved with the Darwin Orver on here. And this is kind of fun, I think, to be able to put your logo or whatever design you want um, on things that you use and that you sell. So here we have the Darwin Orver this way. Of course, you can also engrave it the other way if you want it this way, but it, it's kind of fun that you can go all the way around here. So if you're thinking about starting a business or you are running a business and you want a laser engraver that's relatively small, doesn't take up a lot of room, and that have the flexibility like this with the rotary, the round things, flat things. Of course, you can engrave things in different materials. Here's wood, just playing around doing like a metal bottle. Uh, there are lots of options in terms of engraving things. Uh, let me know if you have any thoughts, any questions in the comments below and I'll see you guys soon.